and I pray for God's guidance, continued guidance uh, for you, Otim for uh, the love of nation. And when we talk nation, you know I'm not talking exclu exclusively of Asante, I'm talking of Ghana. Your love for Ghana should be deepened and so strong. Uh, you, your entire service, you were born to serve, should be rendered uh, for the progress of Ghana. Uh, you are supportive of the governments that have come. And I'm happy uh, the current president, your friend, even from before you're assuming uh, the monarchy of Asante. I know the current president was your lawyer and your friend. Uh, your support for him, and not only him, uh, even across the political divide, your friendship with the people in the other parties, please continue like that. And continue to be relevant to the progress and develop of our nation, development of our nation. Continue to be a human being. Please, Nana, I know you haven't allowed yourself to be power consumed. You've got everything to be drunken on power, but you haven't shown it 20 years. I pray you live to 100 without getting power drunk. Just continue to be human. Love humanity, love your nation, and love progress. And please be there for I'm including myself, as old as I am. <laughs> be there for all of us. And I'm sure God will continue to bless you and fulfill you. I wish you well. Long live Otum 4, long live Ghana, and long live Asante. Nana, what are you doing? I'm Asante 4. I'm a Ghana 4. I'm a Yadmianum Gagbon 4. To have gone as far as you did, the sleepless nights and all the time you spent assisting our government. I think I should also use the occasion to say a big thank you on behalf of our people and especially the Gabon people for the effort the president has also put in. He's brought about peace to the Gabon people. We thank you, Mr. President, and your dear wife, our First Lady Rebecca, for being the first head of state to accord us this great honor, and assure you that your noble gesture will never be lost on us. We are particularly touched and deeply humbled by the depth of appreciation of, of our humble efforts to bring peace to our nation and development to our people. Every word of appreciation and every gesture of gratitude from you, Mr. President, goes not to me alone, but to the whole of us Antiman, to Nananuma Mahine, Ahima Abrempong, and our loyal sons and daughters, whose unity of spirit and patriotic zeal inspire and sustain our efforts. Nanado Dankwa Kufuado was my personal lawyer when I returned home from the United Kingdom, but then we used to gallivant around in the United Kingdom anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and established my private business. He handled all my legal affairs, and for all the time and energy he devoted to me, he never presented me with any bill for his legal fees. <clears throat> Indeed, instead of a bill for his legal fees, he will come carrying the choices of drinks for his client. <laughs> this was not just a lawyer-client relationship, but a true friendship. You are honoring us tonight for our contribution to the peace and development of Ghana, or our role in bringing peace to Dabon, and for our efforts in advancing the economic and social well-being of our people. For me, however, this should be a celebration of the intrinsic value to the nation of the cooperation and collaboration between the Golden Stool 
and the elected government. Asante has always been and will, will always be great. We are a proud part of a nation state that has everything it takes for greatness. We want that greatness to permeate every nook and cranny of Ghana, <clears throat> to touch the life of every son and daughter of Ghana. For that to happen, <clears throat> we must dream big and act with courage. Opimso said to and his spiritual guide at Konfuanoche, dreamt big and acted with courage to, to create a kingdom we still celebrate over four centuries later. It is our turn, Mr. President, our time to be inspired by their dreams and their heroic feats, to also dream big and, and act with courage to spark the torch for the resurrection of the great Ghana envisioned by our founding fathers and your vision of Ghana beyond aid. <laughs> Ghana looks to your excellency for leadership. We are, as always, ready partners in this journey of nation building. As you walked with us along our journey 20 years ago tonight, so we will walk with you along the journey to the new Ghana of your vision. The more we are together, the greater we will be. On behalf of my dear wife, Lady Julia, Nana Asante Hema, and the members of the Rara family, and in the name of Asantiman, I thank Your Excellency for this great honor and thank, this, and thank you for this wonderful audience, for traveling from every part of Ghana to join us in this honor. Thank you very much. There is an off-site statement made by the 18th President of the United States of America, Ulysses S. Grant, the victorious general of the American Civil War, which is appropriate for this occasion, and I would like to quote it. The friend in my adversity I shall always cherish most. I can better trust those who help to relieve the gloom of my dark days than those who are so ready to enjoy with me the sunshine of my prosperity." Skian, all oh, for many, the greatest royal lineage of our country, the Osei Puku dynasty, and a fellow member of the Oyoko clan, Bema Kwekudia, as he was originally known, is one such person I can describe as a good friend, a person I've known for some four decades. And I'm delighted that I'm in a position to honor him with this state banquet in commemoration of this momentous occasion, which we are marking with his beautiful wife, Lady Julia, the elegant woman from Adadientem in Ochima. <laughs> from where all good things come. <laughs> I was present at the Kumasi Sports Stadium on Monday, 26 April 1999, 20 years to the date when with the state sword in his hand and his kuntunkuni wrapped around his waist, Bema Kwakudia swore to uphold the traditions and paths charted by his 15 predecessors and to continue to make Asantimai a model traditional state in our country. By all accounts, he has lived and continues to live up to this noble undertaking. Our relations had also a professional flavor. I was for a considerable while, when we were younger, some 30 years ago, his lawyer. I believe both of us feel good about that passage in our friendship. Certainly, it did not damage it. It was also always a source of sound and consistent advice particularly during my days as leader of the opposition. This has not changed since I became president of the Republic. It is my prayer that Almighty God will continue to bless him 
with wisdom, good health, long life and prosperity, and certainly many more years on the throne. And my hope is that our friendship will continue to remain strong. May I now ask all of you respectfully to be upstanding, charge your glasses, and toast the health, long life, and well-being of the 16th Asantehini, Utufu Osetu II, and his beloved consort, Lady Julia, and the good people of Asantehini and Ghana. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.